You break my heart into a thousand pieces and you say it's because you break my heart into a thousand pieces and you say it's because you break my heart into a thousand pieces and you say it's because you break my heart into a thousand pieces and you say it's because Welcome to my flat. It was built around 1984, has about 25 square meters and costs about $500 a month. Very small, probably built for single working men. As you can see, there's only one cooking field, which means nobody is expected to cook there. I do it anyway. But I always have enough space for art here in Madrid. This is my little shower, as you can see the toilet is also in there, not much space for anything. Not recommended to take a bath by the way, which I try to avoid at all cost. My washing corner, I'm glad I can have my washing machine inside instead of the balcony. And in my fridge of course there's a lot of film and some meat and some fruit, but film. Since I hate white walls, there's a lot of postcards and other stuff on there. Here, postcards from Yokohama's history, a portrait, and some paintings. My sofa bed, which can be pulled out into a double bed, is quite dominating the room, but it's useful. And as you can see, I have a lot of stuff in my tiny little place. Cameras, fountain pens, books, records. CDs and a printer. The shelf and desk I made myself, why not? And here is my emergency bag with some emergency rations, masks and also my passport. So if there's an earthquake I can just grab that and run outside. Here's my balcony. If I miss the trash, the trash gets stored there. And down there lives a cat that is looking at me a lot. It's very cute. And in the winter, when the uh, light is just right, you can also see Fujisan from here, which is great. One of my favorite features of this place. Now, over the bed is an old map of Yokohama's uh, center ward, or Nakaku, from about the 1920s, which I greatly enjoy regularly. To note, I'm using a white lens on my phone here, so everything looks a bit bigger than it actually is. On the right there is my pantry and shoe shelf. And those two are my manikineko or lucky cats. One of them I got in a temple, the other one in the Kotokuji temple in Tokyo. Looks like that over there. You can bring your cat back when you move. Yeah, that's it. At least for my flat. Now this is Aisha's place, which is in Tokyo's uh, Koenji district. This is a so-called designer flat. Literally, it's called a designer flat because it has exposed concrete. Very fashionable, very photogenic. I really, really, really like this place a lot. And of course, it's much more spacious, so easier to use for two people. And the coolest feature is you have a window into the bathroom. 
which is just awesome. Huge window fronts on each side and here's the balcony. And again, exposed concrete walls, which I always thought I would hate, but they're actually really nice. This is our general workspace. The kitchen is much better, so we can enjoy cooking here. No flat is complete without good books. And you have a very interesting view on a very, very old house out of here. I certainly don't have a good photo of. And now the bathroom, again much bigger and with lots of glass which is just really fun. And again super photogenic. Yeah, that light sometimes doesn't work. When I have nothing better to do, I edit photos. Yeah. That's it for this little tour. See you again next time.